Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be doing a brand new Funko News. So let's get started. Okay guys, so if you don't know how these work, I go over to the Instagram account dis.funko or disfunko, and it, he's got some cool stuff on here. He's always got it up to date. Um, it's really good and I like this account because it's really helpful um, with all of your Funko needs. So go follow him on Instagram guys. He's at 55.9K. Let's hit him to 56K if he's not already there by the time when this video goes up. Um, but yeah guys, I want to talk about all the really cool stuff that he's been showing off. And the first one I want to talk about is Moana, uh, sorry, the one from Moana and it's Pua and Hey Hey. Now apparently this one's out already. This is the Amazon exclusive. I believe you could have pre-ordered it a while ago. So that's probably how he got it. But um, this one's really cool because Pua is on the ground and then Hey Hey's kind of like nested in his fur or like the little pigs like kind of like, whoa, 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 no, what do you think pig has? Like kind of like hairy part and it's kind of like nested on the top. Anyways, I think it looks really cool, and I have the original Hey Hey around here somewhere, but um, this one would be even cooler to have just because of how small he is, and it just looks funny. Um, next up after that, guys, we found out which Amazon exclusives will be on um, Amazon for SDCC, and we've got four here. So we've got the Jessica Jones um, Rock Candy, we've got the Solo Imperial Patrol Trooper, um, Jetta, Patrol, Patro Jetta Patrol Trooper, pretty cool. Um, and then we also have the Thor with Odin Force as well, guys, is one that we didn't know is out yet, which will be coming out for the Disney wave, most likely maybe Monday or Tuesday they'll be announcing it. And it is the Edna and Jack-Jack 2-pack. -Jack so I'm thinking maybe it'll be Edna with um, her kind of like, not uh, like a tire on. You guys see it in the commercial. She's wearing like this red robe-ish thing. It looks kind of like Japanese-esque. I'm not sure. But um, that's what I'm thinking it's going to be for that one. And um, let's keep going on here, guys, because now on Walmart Canada has the new Teen Titans exclusives up for sale. Um, if they're out of stock, they'll probably go back in stock. Those will be those ones. Um, but there's Robin as Wonder Woman dressed up like that. And then there is Cyborg in his camo outfit. I think those both look really cool. Um, they're actually super exciting pops. I think it's cool because you get the original Cyborg sculpt now, but in like a different kind of cool green color instead of the blue. Um, after that one, guys, we also have that on, um, this is SDCC slash Walmart, the Killer Moth is up for sale on Walmart. Now, if I'm not mistaken, is it on sale or is it just like, you know, it's up there? Um, oh no, this is an early release, so that's cool. So if you wanted to order it, I didn't even know that was up actually, now that I'm seeing this. Also the placeholder for the, um, Asu Asuka, Asuka, um, which is a WWE character. Um, it's up there for the Walmart exclusive on Canada. A lot of Canada ones come a little bit earlier as placeholders, and then we'll get them later on, um, usually when they release in the States. Um, now, today or yesterday for you guys um, would have been the day where the Tiki Room 2-pack came out, which is um, really cool. I, I think it's such an awesome set. There were people waiting out in line for it. I hope if you guys tried to go and get one, I hope you guys got one. They were switching around the limited to two per person to ten per person. And um, Bearded Pop Hunter was even like, I don't even know 10 people, which I thought was really funny. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, so it's the Pe Pele and Bar uh, Barker Parrot. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I have one of those coming. So um, that's really cool. So it's just, just such a cool set. And I think it looks really good. Especially that glam shot with that uh, Pele there. It looks really good. Um, and the tail on the parrot there looks amazing too, just how long it is. Um, I'm surprised that it's that long. I didn't think it would fit in the box like that. But I'm glad Funko did it like that. Now, the main thing that I wanted to talk about on the channel was the um, Conan Pops that are coming out. You guys probably saw that from the title. We've technically figured out what the four of them are. We don't know if this is a technically official, but what happened was they put up uh, kind of like leaks, or not leaks, but like um, teasers for it. And so we found out that um, this is what they're probably going to be. Conan Ant-Man, Conan Poe Dameron, or Conan X-Wing Fighter pilot. We've got Conan as Hellboy, as well as Conan as Predator. So those ones are all going to be super cool. I'm excited about those. I hope you guys like them because they look really cool. Um, after that, guys, we have the exclusive limited edition gift set of Jurassic World. Now this comes with a little, um, this comes with Owen as well as Blue in a little two-pack of Pocket Pops, and it comes with the DVD digital copy and then the Pocket Pop keychain. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, they did announce the other day the Lounge Fly. On Friday, this was announced the Lounge Fly slash Funko, because Funko bought Lounge Fly, so now they're announcing this as part of their SDCC releases as well. We had some Cuphead stuff, some Stranger Things. 
uh, what's this one here? This is Star Wars, and then we had a, a Porg backpack too. So that one's pretty cool. I like what it says on the Steve uh, bag. It says World's Best Babysitter, which I think is kind of funny. Um, yeah, but also guys, after that we got a new Beetlejuice that came out, which is really cool. This is a new one, him wearing his like guide outfit where he's got like this big hat on. It looks really cool. Um, there was an older Beetlejuice, but I think this one looks a lot better in my opinion. Um, another thing that we have here, guys, I'm just trying to go through all this stuff here pretty quick, but, um, another thing, guys, that we have is the Wetmore Forest, and now you can actually buy these on the website right now, and they're also free shipping up to the 24th, if I'm not mistaken, so, um, these ones, there's four new ones, and I think these ones are much more detailed than, um, last time's Wetmore Forest ones, they're kind of getting a little bit better with their sculpts here. The one in the top looks like Snaggletooth, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's his name. Um, the little black uh, furred one with the uh, wood and stuff on him. I think they look really cool, and I'm excited for the bigger one that's got like the little guys coming out of his beard, which isn't released yet. will be coming out later in July, but um, really cool. Super excited about that one. Uh, we also have some of the new Five Star figures, which is some of the uh, Funko's new line of toys coming out, or line of collectibles coming out, and they're making Hermione, Hagrid, Ron, Harry, and Snape. But the cool thing about them is that they're all Walmart exclusives, so you'll probably be able to get them not too bad. Uh, Walmart's not the worst with exclusives. Usually the worst ones, I would say, are probably like Walgreens and um, Target, in my opinion. But um, yeah, guys, those are pretty cool. Um, for my Canadian friends, we also have Pop Marvel Avengers Infinity War Thanos 10-inch will be coming to EB Games. So you can pre-order it on the website right now, um, but you can also probably get it in store once the pre-order's out. So that's pretty cool. Um, two new ad icons will be coming to Target as well. We have Bazooka Joe, which I believe his eyes are a little too far apart. I talked about this in Jetta Patrol's live stream with uh, Josh and him, but I feel like... It looks a little too far apart because you guys can even see on the back of the box there his eyes are really close together and then on the pop they look like they're almost like right at the very edge of the the face I, other than that guys i think is really cool then we also have the noid from domino's we get domino's pizza actually a lot around here i don't know how, how long how often maybe every once in a while but still it's one of the pizza places that we would pick to I go to i didn't really have a mascot yeah, it's called the Noid. It was more, he said, it. Uh, I was talking to Ryan, and he said it was more towards the late 80s, early 90s. It's like the beginning of them. Yeah, so they tried out a, a cool kind of ad icon for their business, and it's got a pop now, so it must have been pretty successful. Um, but I'm excited about it anyway. There was a new vinyl two-pack coming out to... Um, Target, which is Tony the Tiger and Diggum Frog. I'm pretty excited about that one. Anything Funko and Tony the Tiger does really well. Um, like Noah said, it's going to sell, and um, so yeah, it does really well. Also guys, if you didn't know, um, Honey Smacks has a possible Salmonella outbreak, so maybe the pop's going to shoot up in price because of that, either that or it's going to go down, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's probably nothing too serious, unless anybody, people have just been saying they're feeling sick, so I don't know if it's because of that or not, but um, another thing that we have going here, which is I think is a little odd, but they're kind of cool. It's Adventure Time and Minecraft Pops put together. So the the Finn looks pretty cool. I like the Jake, but the you know Princess Bubblegum and Mabel Maybelline. What's it? Marble. What's her name? I don't, I don't the, know. The, the vampire girl. I can't think of her name. Mar Marf Marceline. 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 They look kind of weird, but um, I do like the Jake, and I think the Finn's okay. So I'm probably gonna get those two. But other than those ones, no, can you tell me what team this guy's on? You ready? It's uh, baseball. Ken Griffey. No. Griffey? Griffey? Anyway, Seattle Mariners. There's going to be a gold uh, version of him coming out. And they'll probably do the other, like the away jersey and then the normal one. Um, it's going to be for a new Seattle's game coming out on September 29th. So if you're going to the game, guys, you have a chance to get a cool pop. Um, uh, they have another Moana. Um and Maui two-pack vinyl coming out. I think Maui looks amazing. He looks pretty much just like he does in the movie. And uh, Moana's got the huge head, which looks pretty cool as well, because you know, that smaller body, huge head. I think, I think the eyes look good on hers. Maui's got this great face going. I just think that this set in general is really well done and um, looks great in my opinion. Uh, just a couple more things that I want to talk about here is, um, oh, I wanted to talk about the newer um, SDCC exclusive Nux car pop ride because it's 5,000 pieces. This is most likely going to be coming to the Funko shop for their exclusive, but it's got um, the two of them there. And I know I can't think of the guy's name. He's strapped to the front of it. You know what I'm talking about, what? right? For the car. 
You what? see me strapped to the front. I can't think blood of his bag. name. What? Blood bag. Blood bag? Is it blood bag? No. Anyways, guys, you see him there. He's strapped to the front of it, and then it's got Nux in the car. I think he looks really cool. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, it's a very different pop ride, and I like the box. Now, we were talking about it also on the stream. We think that the box is going to be like, you know, when you buy um, an exclusive collector's edition at Target or whatever, and you'll just be able to slide out the normal pop inside of it. I think that's what it's going to be. Um, yeah, a lot of new Scott Pilgrim stuff coming out. Um, a bunch of new SDCC exclusives. They haven't announced the Disney wave yet, but I'm excited to see that one now because of the um, Edna and Jack-Jack 2-pack, which is going to be cool to see what they're doing with that one. But I think that's everything that we're going to be talking about today. If Noah can find that thing over there, yeah, um, that'll be cool to see that. Is this a new... Uh, oh, there's a new Toxin exclusive Walgreens pop coming out. It looks like Venom with a new paint job, but I don't know if this is real or not. If you guys can confirm this, let me know. Uh, it's not... Is it new? It looks just like Venom. I can't even tell. But, um... Yeah, I think it is. Anyways, guys, if you know if this one's real or not, let me know, because I'm not sure about that one. Um, but yeah, t the um, the two-pack over at Disney was a pretty big thing going on today. It seems like most people got them if they wanted them. Oh, one more thing before we go. Let's talk about the shared exclusives. So I've got the list here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but some of them that we are pretty much confirmed on are the GameStop ones, the Hot Topic ones. Uh, Funko Shop is kind of sketchy, because we don't know if the... I believe FYE will be getting the three, um, the three chromed out, uh, what's it called, flash ones, but I feel like they also could be going to the Funko shop, which makes sense. Walmart is for sure getting the one from uh, Teen Titans because we saw it on the Canadian uh, Walmart. Entertainment Earth is getting the Hellboy there. Funimations will be getting the Wheeze, or Wiss. Wheeze, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Box Lunch is getting the really quick running flash. So there's a lot of cool ones coming out this year, and I hope you guys... Um, are excited about SDCC because it will be starting on the 19th. We'll be getting all the pops coming out and um, Yeah, really cool guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video If you guys want to see more Funko news from me in the future, let me know But this has been another episode of Top Pops. No, do you have the guy's name or no? Well, it just says Max. Oh, it's Max, isn't it? Well, yeah, I thought his, name, his nickname was like Bloodbag. I don't know. There is a Bloodbag pop that kind of looks like that. Oh, maybe not. Maybe. Anyways, guys, so why, why, yeah, why do we think of that? Is Max or Blood Bag? Anyways, this has been another episode of Top Pops. If you guys want to see more Funko news from me in the future, make sure to subscribe. Also, check me out on Instagram. We just hit 10K over there, so thank you to everybody who follows me over there. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. If it's alright.